I must at the outset appeal to you all to listen carefully to the several arguments advanced in support of the new scheme of education and give it a fair trial. The matter is complicated. It is unfortunate that small matters should have become so complicated. Big questions get through without any trouble, but sometimes small matters are not easily understood. This appears to be a natural phenomenon. We all readily understand that a stone is dangerous, but we do not easily understand the potentialities of the air with which we are surrounded. I would compare elementary education to the wind. We should realize it is powerful like the wind. Elementary education should be spared all over without being noticeable. Para. It is indeed regrettable that it should be said that there is a big conspiracy behind the new scheme, probably because I am its author. Some people suspect that there is something as accepted. It and the scheme might have worked successfully. I made similar suggestion over 30 years ago. I thought that somebody would do it, but ultimately no one took it up. I myself did not take up this question in the past. In my old age, I thought that I should put it through. People may ask why I am keen on implementing this scheme and not pass it through. People may ask why I am keen on implementing this scheme and not pass it off this undone all these years and feel that I should attempt it at least now. For some time, people might abuse me and then there will be an end to it. I cannot understand why there should be so much agitation over this simple issue. Para. There have been many occasions in the history of this country when several changes have taken place in the field of education and no one has protested. People in olden days were fortunate, but I am not unfortunate because for the small change I am introducing there is so much protest. So my mind the confusion that is created is the mind of the people and the mistaken notion that education gets employment in the cause of what I call the disease. Criticism is made and fear expressed that the full period of education under the new scheme has been reduced by half and it is said that a full meal has been cut half. This is a mistaken notion and there is no substance in the fear. What is required is that everybody should know how to read and write. Everyone without distinction of caste or creed or profession should acquire this knowledge. It would be a good thing for every one of them to be educated how this is to be achieved in the question. Stop.